Hey y'all. Hey y'all. EDP is back, man. EDP is back. He's back. And Moist Critical has covered it. And I have to watch his video. It's that time again, that special time of year where EDP tries to make a comeback and find a platform that doesn't immediately ban him for what he's done in his past. Facts. It's become an annual tradition now on the internet. EDP's kind of like this reoccurring villain online, kind of like <laughs> a box ghost from Danny Phantom who shows up in a few episodes here and there and just gets laughed at. That's EDP. Damn. Once upon a time, EDP 445 was an extremely successful... I will, I will, I will. Hold on. ...a YouTuber with over 2 million subscribers, but then got caught in a pedophile sting operation Yeesh. where he was sexually communicating with someone he Actually, I think he just wanted cupcakes, buddy. ...to be a child, and even went to a physical location to try and meet that child, which led to the infamous piece of what internet history where EDP tried to squeak his way out of a sticky situation when he was caught on camera at the physical location that they arranged for him Yikes. to meet what he believed to be a child. How you get caught EDP lacking like that, bro? ...of claiming he was not there to meet a child, but was actually just there for a cupcake. It, it was an iconic moment that will go down in internet lore etched into the tablets of time, and that's become his legacy. He was then banned off of YouTube, and every now and then tries to come back to... Hope that the heat's cooled down enough where he can make, yet again, a thriving career online. This is like the fifth video I've made about the EDP saga. It's got seasons to it. It's like the longest running series on my channel next to the moist meter. It's just wild how often he does these things and the way that he goes about them. What, bro? But this time it's a little different, and I wasn't even going to make a video talking about it because it's become such a standard, normal thing for EDP to try and crawl his way back. It's like that scene in Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull where he locks himself in that refrigerator as the nuclear bomb goes off and then he just gets out and walks away. That's EDP. Like, he comes out, the bomb goes off, where it's like, wait, EDP's back? The, the, the guy that did all that pedophile shit? And then he gets banned. He I mean, I'm down. I mean, I don't mind, but like, I don't know himself in the refrigerator dodging all the nukes and then comes back another time to try again on another platform it's been like that for two years he has streamed he's made content on every platform imaginable he's probably made a couple videos at your local universities god i mean if everyone platform. gets on i'm down but he is going everywhere to try and make money again online and it hasn't worked until over the last month on tiktok what you mean over the last month on tiktok he made yet another account and this time he hasn't been banned in fact he has over seven hundred and thirty thousand followers right i ain't gonna lie i wonder who is really like uh like who is really supporting this nigga bro they you like they are like weird as fuck for doing that bro like i don't know dog now, and actively that's so weird on there to great success but unfortunately, it seems like this success may have brought out the kitty diddling demon from within <laughs> EDP once more. He has been accused of grooming a minor. Oh, Who brother. Who could have seen that coming, if it's true? Oh, brother. You know, a shocker. Unk this doesn't learn his lesson. With evidence of him talking sexually to underage fans of his from back in the day, being very inappropriate with them. And then in the most recent oh, one brother. his whole career, literally saying sexual things about what he'd want to do to someone that he believed was a child. That is so weird, bro. Conversation, sending a picture of his cock, sending a picture of his... Poop like, dog, his don't you have your own child, bro? Like, you, you literally had a child. How do you, like, how do you, like, how do you say these things, bro? Like, imagine if somebody did that to the person you have, your child, you, like, bro, I know y'all seen that child that EDP used to, like, you know, I guess he was, like, the stepdad or something, bro. Like, he, he, like, took care of somebody. I don't know who it was. Like, does that not mean nothing, bro? That's so weird. Toilet bowl, the actual pioneer of shit picks, like... Who could have possibly imagined that on a platform predominantly used by children, he would then once again potentially communicate with children? Yeah, you, some you shit, some shit. Look like, right? Yeah. I was just really trolling him. Like, in the group chat, like, when we made that group chat, we were literally just trolling him. And, like, mm -hmm. he just took it too damn far. Like, he started, like, personally, like, DMing me. Thank you. Hold on. Let me read these shits. Let me read this shit. 
thank you with the fucking weird ass smiley face. Don't let anyone tell you you aren't beautiful. Not even me. You deserve the best. And trust me, if I was in Louisiana, I'd be beating down your door. Something smothering you with flowers and hugs. You just better prepare yourself before I showing you off to the entire world. Yo, that's a threat. That doesn't even sound nice. No, bro. That's is like extremely scary, bro. If this nigga said that to me, I will literally get off the internet forever. Yuck. He fell for it again. Nigga said he fell for it again. EDP the type of person to say no more nice guy. Nah, for real, bro. Don't let anyone ever tell you you aren't beautiful, not even me. You deserve the best. I mean, trust me if I was in Louisiana. Like, he could have stopped it there. He could have stopped it there, like, before he said, trust me, if I was in Louisiana, I'll be beating your door down. You know, like, he could have just stopped it right there. That's just a nice message. And then he started saying all this shit, bro. Yeah, beat down your door, smothering you in flowers and hugs. <laughs> Why you laughing, bro? Why you laughing, dog? Why you laughing? Chill. You just better prepare yourself because I was showering you all the entire world. <laughs> Yo! Bro, that's some evil ass shit, bro. Hell nah. That video you posted in the group chat when you and the other guy first added me. Can you resend it? It's really hot. I promise not to send it to anyone else. Oh my this is god, bro. This part of an interview from this YouTube channel, Master at Work. And I'll be honest, I've finished watching it, but I'm still a little confused on the specifics of exactly what happened here. Uh, the best I can piece together is the girl in the interview was trolling EDP. They had like a group chat together. And while she was underage, was talking to EDP, but then she turned of age, she she turned 18, and then EDP got more sexual with their conversations or something oh, like shit. that. Oh, shit. I'm not in... What? Bro was waiting. He waited. Bro, the day she turned 18, all right, bro, you not a little girl no more, bro. He was basically spawn camping, bro. What the hell? Yo, nah, bro. Entirely sure on the like the exact timeline of everything that happened extremely that, crazy to me bro still seems like a very weird situation uh, at the very least assuming of course it's all true there's not 100 percent irrefutable evidence at the moment here and i'm sure edp will latch onto that claiming that it's all just fake haters trying to bring him down huh. because even to this day he doesn't really i ain't gonna lie he shouldn't be up that's that's the thing EDP bought her a shirt saying she's taken when she's the age of consent. First. Bro, what? Knowledge what happened and what cost him his career. Though on TikTok, he did make a video taking a slow bite of a cupcake, which is the closest he's come to talking about it. And it's really weird that he still like in to the pedal. Is that like, is, is that supposed to be fire or something, bro? Like, hey, I got my cupcake head ass, bro. First off, you shouldn't be eating those sweets, bro. One more and you might just croak. And like, dog, it doesn't send no good message, bro. Like, dog, like what? I don't understand. File stuff. Like he he knows the cupcake is associated with him trying to go to the physical location where he was talking about having sex with someone he believed was a kid. And yet he will openly no, thus like, his hat to it. He's bro trying, swear like, he five, bro. It's like, yeah, you guys all know about the pedophile past. So here's the, you know here's that and now let's talk about the Eagles. It's it's just so that's so weird, weird bro. Yeah, I really didn't want to mention EDP again going forward since it's such a normal thing that happens now, like a little natural disaster that blows. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Nigga <laughs> said natural disaster. Account. Wait, what you mean by natural disaster? Like him jumping or like him coming back to the internet? That's my question, bro. What you mean by natural disaster? And trying to get popular again somewhere. And somehow it usually works out for him for a brief moment of time where he'll get a lot of followers in a short amount of time, like he has on TikTok. The, the guy's like a tardigrade, or as you might know it, a water bear. Imagine he's, like he's just... trying to be a part of a prank, but then the guy pranked him by get, putting him on the set. I mean, he should be, right? He should be already. Tiny little micro animal that can survive pretty much everywhere. In a volcano, in space even. Like somehow EDP always just comes back and tries to find some place to live I'm on the internet. Saying, no matter how like he has that internet clout, bro. You can't get rid of the nigga, bro. But 
I ain't gonna lie. They just need to put him in jail, bro. Dude, I don't care, bro. They just need to put him in jail. That's all, bro. The internet tries to push him away. It, it, the tenacity is unreal. But, yeah, the reason I was talking about it today is because... Of the I ain't gonna lie. He needs to put that effort into, like, going to the gym or some shit, bro. He got too much time on his hands trying to make a new account on everything, but the bro is still as big as he was trying to get that cupcake. I don't understand it, bro. I don't understand it. That now came out against him, which isn't a surprising thing if all of those accusations are proven true, given his history and his repeated pattern of inappropriately talking to children. The fact that he is now huge on TikTok, which is a platform that is predominantly a child audience it isn't he gonna go on x videos next game. bro i wouldn't be surprised nigga making fucking philadelphia eagles content on that shit bro go back like back which team do you think is gonna win head ass was on youtube so yeah that's the edp annual update and that's about it oh brother see ya, see ya. i ain't gonna lie bro niggas seem like they having a hard time trying to catch his ass bro i'm gonna do y'all a favor and step in bro for real, dog.